So generally, in order to design a NOT gate, uh, any logic gate, uh, basic uh, logic gate as uh, inverter, so we will be having uh, of the form in the pull-up network, that is, uh, we will have a uh, resistor and then we have a transistor in order for having the functionality of inverter operation. Right? But generally, uh, resistor, fabricating resistor in uh, IC will uh, occupy larger area. So because of that, we will be uh, trying to eliminate this resistor and we will be replacing a replacement for this resistor as another form of transistor. Okay, right? So for that case, we have basically four types of uh, pull-up network we can use. Either the first one has a resistive pull up, the second uh, we can have a uh, N, N mass depletion mode transistor, and further N mass enhancement mode transistor, and finally, fourth one has a P mass uh, device we can use in place of this uh, resistive one. Let's say I and the input as let's say A and the output. So, power supply. VD and this is VSS are ground. So basically, we will be using resistive pull up. So this is called a pull down device and this is pull up device. So the name itself it specifies that the network of the pull up, the element which is going to pull the logic up towards VD. VD in the sense here logic 1 or plus 5 volts. Logic 1 or 5 volts logic. Okay. And similarly, the transistor which is connected in the pull down place, so which is called a pull up pull down network because it is going to pull the output to 0, right? So that's why we call it as a pull down or pull down network or pull down the element, right? So here it can function as a not, not gate or not motion C. Let us say we are supplying 0, logic 0 as an input. And this is N mass transistor, N mass transistor. So, which is for the zero volt supply for the gate input, it is now going to connect. Okay. Now, what happens from the power supply? So, the output will be connected to power supply because this is not turned on. So, simply output will be connected to VDD through this resistor. So then, whether we are going to receive the exact logic levels or not, we can see in the characteristics, right? So when 0 is supplied as input, are we getting exactly the logic 1 as an output in the inverter, okay? So this is 0 is supplied, so this is not functioning, so therefore VDD is connected to output, right? But is it going to be a 5 volts exactly? It's not because of the a resistor present here, some of the voltage drops across the resistor, so you may not receive exactly the logic 1, which is 5 volts, so you may receive below that, so maybe 3.5 volts or 3 volts you may receive, right? So that is a drop, voltage drop across the resistor, okay? So that means logic 1, you are not going to receive exactly, so you are going to receive less than that, and then a zero anyhow it will be uh, received. Okay, right? So the advantage is that it is simple, right? Simple in construction, a simple resistor and then N mass transistor. That's an advantage. But coming to the drawback is that you are unable to represent the output logic level one exactly. Right? So there is a drop across the resistor which is making the logic reduction, logic level reduction in the power plan. So that's the drawback. One more thing is fabricating resistor occupies very larger area in the IC, which 
is definitely unwanted thing. So we were not going to use her as a sister to love me. Okay. So that's why uh, the drawback is like we can't use her sister, right? Because it is occupying larger area. Okay. So then the second thing we can see as. Second is N mass enhancement mode transistor. N mass enhancement mode pula. Okay. So here, in place of resistor, we are going to place a N mass enhancement mode transistor. So same thing A here. Output. Now, since it is N mass enhancement mode transistor, so there is no physically channel, channel present to handle. So therefore, we need to supply voltage here. So this is actually equal to VDD in order for this transistor to be on always. Okay, right? So this is as usual VDD and the ground ESS. So that means when VDD is supplied as input to this transistor, this is always conducting, right? It is always on, okay, right? So when zero is supplied, what is going to be happen? This is off. So VDD is going to be connected to V out through this transistor, transistor which is conducting state, right? But still, because it is an enhancement mode of transistor. So it requires some voltage to be supplied in order for this to turn, right? So that voltage drop is going to be uh, dropped across this element, and it is not going to be exactly five volts. So it is less than five volts you are going to receive. But compared to the previous one, it is better. Okay? So you may not have three volts, uh, like one volt, two volt drops across this because. It's only like around 0.7 volts which is required for conducting this transistor. So therefore, so it is able to represent the logic, but better than that. But still, you are not going to exactly reach the logic one voltage. Okay, right? So for the logic one, so you are going to receive close to the logic, right? Not exactly one, but close to the ideal uh, five volts logic you are going to receive. Now, when one logic one is supplied, what is going to happen? So, when one is supplied, this transistor gets turned on, right? So, because it is N mass uh, transistor, so after the threshold voltage, it is going to start conducting, and whatever this is already turned on, and when one is supplied, this is also getting turned on. So entire thing goes to ground instead of reaching output. But still, there is an output presented, but very small. It is not going to reach exactly zero. You are going to receive something that is threshold voltage of the device of this device. Okay. So that means even logic zero is not exactly zero here in this case. Okay. So that's a problem that we are going to face in uh, N mass enhancement mode. And similarly, we can use N in the next case as third one N mass depletion mode. Depletion mode pull-up. Right? So exactly here we have a, another uh, like the depletion mode in the sense physically channel is present between the source and drain, which is Ready to conduct even if you supply zero ground, right? So a depletion mode device will be ready to conduct, right? Even if the gate voltage is zero, because there is a physically channel uh, available which is uh, done by the application diagram. Okay, so that's the basic difference between uh, enhancement mode and depletion mode. In enhancement mode, we need to establish the channel. In uh, depletion mode, already physically available between the source and drain, so which is meeting the conducting path clear enough so that electrons can flow. Okay, right. So therefore, this is ready to connect, 
and zero will fail for okay. Right. So what is happening in this case? So here, uh, when zero is applied again, so the output is going to be right. We're going to receive close to the five volts. This is also same. Now again, in the zero, right? When the uh, when zero is when logic one is applied, we are supposed to receive zero, right? But because of the threshold voltage drop across this transistor, still the output is going to be not zero. Around the, the threshold voltage of the N mass transistor will be present at the output. Okay, right? So then the next fourth one has P mass to the output. So P mass. Pull up transistor. Pull up transistor. So we are going to replace that uh, resistor with a, a P mass device. Okay. And uh, we are going to supply the same input for both the transistors. Output and input, let's say. So here we are going to replace that transistor, uh, the resistor with a P mask. So this is P mask pull up device and this is N mask pull down device. Okay. So when the logic zero is supplied as an input, right? So as we know, the N mask transistor cannot conduct uh, the supply gate voltage as zero, but P mask device is going to conduct, right? When zero is supplied here. Okay. So therefore, this transistor will be on. So P will be on and the N transistor will be off when the logic input is zero. So then what is happening? So the output is connected to BDD across this P mass transistor because it is in on condition. So output we are going to receive as logic one. That means BDD or logic one. Similarly, when zero uh, logic 1 is supplied as input, so what will happen? So P will be off. That means you are disconnecting P mass device from VDD to ground. Right? So that means P will be off and N will be on. In transistor, because of the logic 1 applied, so some voltage gate voltage is supplied here, so it can conduct. Now, what is going to happen to the output? The output is connected to ground through this N mass transistor, so output reaches to logic zero. Right. So this is uh, the uh, P mass pull up, or we call it as complementary mass network, the C mass uh, inverter we call it as. Right. So generally, we uh, take that uh, C mass. Technology is going to consume less power, but why is that case? Right. So why PMOS, uh, CMOS uh, technology consumes low power? Okay. So in either of the logical inputs, either logic zero or logic one input, there is no short circuit path between VDD and ground. Okay. So because of that, so the VDD cannot drain to ground. That means there is no DC path, there is no short circuit path created in either of the two input combinations. So that's the speciality of CMOS technology where leakage power is reduced. Greatly compared to PMOS or NMOS or any other bipolar technology also, right? So for either of the two logical inputs, there is no short circuit path uh, provided between VDD and ground. So that avoids the leakage current, hence it consumes low power. Okay. Right. So, but still there is an analysis where uh, uh, then when there is a transition is going to take, take place from uh, logic 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. In that short period, there is a chance of happening both transistors be entering into trans uh, saturation region. In that duration only there is a Still, the leakage is there, but not zero, right? But compared to other technologies, it is better. So, we 
particular the name is uh, four types of pull up networks available. Okay. So, in this, we are going to prefer uh, CMOS logic for implementation of the any kind of today expressions.